this one that we're currently in. Twirl me around the kitchen. Pinot Gris, on sundays i normally i'd say that's my editing day such a ritual to wake up pretty early and just edit the whole day i just realized that my mm, table is such a mess i've been looking for this portable thing to put the sd card of this camera in there i've been filming some little snippets of my last vlog and this vlog with this camera just to see if it even makes a difference i don't know if can you even tell that it looks different it's like an old digital camera from my parents that they just don't use anymore so i took it because i've been wanting to kind of get better content but also i cannot i don't have the money to spend on like a big youtube camera and even if you're like starting youtube i'd say your phone is definitely enough i don't believe that if you can't afford something that it should stop you from doing what you love so I film on my phone, but I thought it's fun to just try with this. I'm trying to film as much as I can this summer, so I'm kind of vlogging constantly, which I don't do all the time. Usually I vlog three to five days a week, so this is very different for me, but I thought I'll just still take you along. And yeah, I'm gonna spend the rest of the morning editing for now. <laughs> I just took a little everything shower and it's like 4 p.m. I haven't showered since yesterday morning so I felt a bit stinky. I'm gonna cut my hair. I think I haven't touched my hair in almost two weeks, probably two weeks. So proud of myself. It's such a struggle for me not to like retouch my bangs every week. I also just keep wanting to change my hair. I think that once it gets colder I might do a little really rough shortcut. Don't know if that's gonna happen, but kind of thinking about it. I'm gonna cut my bangs, refreshing my wolf cut as always. I am not a hairdresser. I'm so sorry if you are and you're watching this now because this is painful probably. I think that's the shortest fringe I've ever had. But I actually like the way it all turned out. There's one thing that you can do on a Sunday here and it's go to a flea market. So I thought, why not? Because I was really rotting in bed and I did not want to get up. I just wanted to spend the Sunday in bed watching movies. I haven't been out on a date just by myself. I think people would disagree with that, that I don't spend a lot of time alone with myself. But like, I've just lately been way more social than I usually have been and doing a bunch of things just with friends. I just haven't been doing a lot of stuff by myself and I thought it would be good to maybe go to a flea market. There's also some birthdays coming up. Maybe I'll find something cute. I'm going on vacation in two days. Maybe I'll find something cute. The weather also cleared up. It was raining pretty much all morning. It cleared up. It looked looks nicer. The universe just wanted me to go and I made it. I drove over here for the first time on my own. Anytime I go to this flea market, usually my boyfriend drives. We did it. We're independent. Drinking a Coke Zero and my outfit is basically the same color. Wait, I'm gonna show. 
I wore this in the last vlog I got these pants. Do you see my socks? Okay, it's basically just the colors of a Coke Zero. I've been drinking way too many. Been allowing myself a little too many cute little drinks. To the point that I'm turning into a Coke Zero? No, I don't know. I'll leave that here though and I, I'll go in and have fun. Maybe I'll find something cute. Who knows? Okay. Let's go. I didn't even bring headphones. Like this is truly me spending time with myself. are back in the car i tried vlogging as much as i can it was a little awkward but everyone there was so kind i bought one thing there were a lot of cute things but i just didn't want to buy too much i bought a skirt that actually i've been seeing in stores and it's pretty expensive they're like 40 or 50 euros and i really barely buy stuff like this expensive but i've been really wanting a skirt like that and it was faith that i just found it here and it is in my size it's one of those like puffy skirts funnily enough i tried it even on the other day just to see how it looks on me and i was in love so i hope that this will fit if not it was like it was only three euros that's my only find i didn't want to go overboard because my bank account would not allow me to do that it's like 8 p.m now the flea market is closing it was the wild invest by the way one of my favorite flea markets compared to other ones on sundays which are usually in the morning this one goes from 3 to 8 p.m., which I think is also fun in summer when you don't know what to do in the afternoon. If you end up in Vienna in summer, check them out. But I'm gonna drive home now and for the rest of the day or evening, I'll be lazy in bed. I deserve that. Okay. I need my phone. I actually have no idea how to get home from here, so. I'm currently packing. When this vlog comes up, I'm gonna be in the south of France and I'm so excited. So I'm packing for that because we're leaving pretty early tomorrow. I don't know why I think that I I'm a smooth packer because I'm not like I overthink every piece I pack a million times it always gives me anxiety I don't know why I do this to myself I just did a quick trip to get some little moisturizers I don't want to bring all my big products so I always get these two outfit wise I think I'm done like I'm so over it that I don't even want to <laughs> retry going through that I'm gonna bring this back which my brother just gifted me today as a late birthday present so I'll bring that as my airport bag so cute it has a little pouch inside that goes with it if you know me you know i love like random little pouches with things that i could put in there so i'm gonna pack a bunch of my electronics in there also gonna bring my journal which is currently this one that i got oh my god actually i got this the last time i was in the south of france i got this in nice at the Musée Matisse. I might finish it once I'm there because I don't have a lot left. If I finish it, I'll buy a new one. I might bring my oil crayons with me because I would love to get like a small little acrylic watercolor one that I can always throw in my bag, but I haven't found something like that yet. So I usually just bring a pencil to draw and these. 
also need to figure out what book I want to bring. Either Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton or the other one would be The French Art of Not Trying Too Hard by Olivier Puriot. This is more a book that you should think a little with and about and it talks a lot about just existing. This feels more like a fun little read. But I'll figure this one out. I'm gonna finish packing now. For my boyfriend, I'm gonna pick him up uh, because we're going on vacation together. I was listening to Love It If We Made It by the 1975 right now because it just, I'm shuffling through my playlist. I don't know what to listen to this summer, so I'm just listening to all the songs. And I remember that I had a whole presentation in my English class in school, in high school, about this one song. I don't know what I was thinking. I, who was I back then? Like, what were my statements with this song? How did my teacher, actually she loved me. But still, this memory was shoved in the back of my mind, so this just came up. And update to packing, still not done. <laughs> I'm so bad. It's past 6 p.m., I'm gonna finish packing. I promise I'm gonna finish. I mean, I have to, so yeah. Mm -hmm.